Could the WNBA 2026 season be in jeopardy? The WNBA players have officially opted of their collective bargaining agreement, setting the stage for major changes in free agency. Hi, and welcome back to Davis Sports Report. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to help us grow the channel and turn on notification to be updated as we drop new content. Player reps have voted that they are opting out mm. of the 2020 collective bargaining agreement. So this means that the players and the league are now on the clock to negotiate a new CBA by the end of the 2025 season. And y'all, the timing of this decision is truly huge. Coming off of a historic WNBA season that includes record viewership increases in attendance by 48%, increases in merchandise sales by 600% compared to last year. So this is a huge decision that was just was made. And now we wait and see how the league and the players are going to work together for the future of the WNBA. The WNBA is currently navigating complex negotiation around a collective bargaining agreement, CBA. And with the recent 2.2 billion media rights deal, about 200 million a year annually, players are poised to demand a larger share of the revenue. The deal spanning 11 years with ESPN, NBC, and Amazon represents a massive boost to the league's earning. But under the current CBA, players only receive a small fraction of the overall revenue, less than 10%. In contrast, NBA players benefit from a 50-50 revenue sharing model, and the WNBA players are now pushing for a similar structure. With free agency looming, many players are expected to sign short-term deals in anticipation of a renegotiated CBA that could significantly increase their salary. The new Inc. Media deal has added momentum to players' demand, especially given the league's growth in viewership attendance and fan engagement. However, the WNBPA president has indicated that players are prepared to negotiate for as long as necessary, even if it means facing a potential lockout, to ensure that they receive a fairer portion of the revenue, including through revenue sharing as seen in other professional sports. However, if a lockout occurs, it could slow the WNBA rising popularity and disrupt the league's growing momentum in the sports world. With unprecedented TV ratings and media visibility, any interruptions due to work stoppage could risk losing goodwill and expanded fan base the league has built in recent years. However, for the players, the potential long-term benefit of securing a larger piece of the financial pie might outweigh the risk of a temporary halt. But what say you? Is this the perfect time for the players to opt out of the current CBA? Should the players with their demand also keep in mind the impact of a lockout season and what would it mean to the WNBA momentum going forward and its future? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and see you in the next video.